The next section in the ZR132 training is to enable overhauling the drive shaft. The first task is to make sure you have a stand similar to the one we are showing and have a three-legged hydraulic puller set capable of pulling off the coupling. Here you can show we're applying heat and this will enable you to pull the coupling off with relative ease. Using a soft drift, remove the ring as shown. Please note the oil seal cover plate only goes on one way and you cannot get it in the wrong position. Use jacking bolts to remove the oil cover plate. Check there's no damage to the rings. Undo the four screws that hold the burring retainer plate. Use the overhead crane or A-frame as shown to lift the plate from the gear set. Using a soft mallet you can tap the shaft down and it should soon come away. The next action is to pull off the oil seal with the hydraulic pullers as shown. You shouldn't need to apply heat, but you can if it's very tight. We're going to pull off the burring next. Sometimes it will come cold, but in other times you need to apply some heat. It won't take much, and then it will come off quite easily. We've turned the whole assembly over now and the first thing we've got to do is remove the circlip off the shaft. This will allow the burring to be pulled free. This burring will actually be quite tight so you need to put on pullers as shown and sometimes again you will need to apply some heat. We're moving to the reassembly stage now. As you can see, once you've heated up the outer burring, you can slip it on quite nicely onto the shaft. And the next stage after that is re refit the circlip. We've now flipped the shaft back over and we're going to refit the main bearing as shown. You have to warm it up and then it will slip on quite nicely onto the shaft. Here you can see that we're fitting the oil seal ring back on. Getting the housing square onto the bearing can be a bit tricky, but using a hammer as shown and keep tapping from left to right, you will eventually get it to slide yeah. down. Once it has slid down so far, you can then use longer screws 
and fit those through into the bearing retainer plate and pull the whole assembly down as shown. What you have to do now is put the actual bolts back in and fit all four bolts tight up to the housing. Now going to fit back the outer seal housing. It can only go one way. You'll see that the holes line up with the holes that's in the cover plate. Now going to fit the securing ring. And again, once you get it up, it's a clockwise thread. Give it a tap with the soft bar to close it up tight. We're now going to fit the main coupling back on. The main coupling has to go level with the end of the shaft. That's why we put the two pinch bars there, just to be able to give it a little bit of leverage. And we're checking the coupling temperature before fitting. Lower it down gently, make sure you're square. And just as it comes to the end of the shaft, you can see that Jamie's put his thumb there just to secure it. And now, as it cools, it will stay in that position. This is the end of this particular part of the training, part two. We're now going to install the shaft back into the compressor. Thank you for watching.